Welcome back, everybody. We are playing Minecraft today. Um, as you can see, I got shaders. And let me say, it looks freaking amazing. So today, we're going to be building a farm. Now, I don't know if this is a series I will continue, but I'm pretty much on a server with uh, a couple of my friends and we're pretty much just having fun on here but so far I've built this look at the locales I gotta say with these shaders it gets really dark out here it gets really realistic with the torches but so far I got my locale farm I've got my little house that I really need to upgrade. But for the most part, it's got its... But for the most part, it's got its uh, essentials. Got the two furnaces. Got the crafting table, the bed. Down here, if I can get down here. Got my little storage area. It, it's small, I know. But that's only because I don't plan on staying here long. I plan on building a big modern house. You guys know how I build. And I got my little makeshift farm here. It's still a little patchy, but you know, it's getting there. But this is why I want to build a automatic farm. So first, we got to get a lot of stone. I think we'll do cobblestone, just because we're early in the game still. And I haven't found iron, so we'll stick with cobblestone instead of stone. We're going to need some pistons, and we're going to need some redstone. So I probably won't show you guys everything. I'll probably just cut to whenever I find the necessary materials that we need. All right, so here's my mine shaft. I kind of started it already. I haven't found anything other than coal. I might fix this and add some stairs and stuff, but for right now, it's all right. Just gotta put a little bit of work into getting to the top. And we found a mine shaft, I believe. Oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no. Ooh, I saw that one coming. So I'm not gonna lie, I'm a little scared of going in there. Gotta be brave, gotta be brave. I need the resources. And there we go, guys, some iron. And look at this. Diamond. So let's grab all the coal that we can because we are running low. It's so creepy down here, since the torches don't light up that much. Let's grab some of this iron. This should be enough. Look at this, guys. More diamond. We're red. Oh, and there it is. Redstone. Almost complete, guys. I don't know if I can get it with... A stone pickaxe. Uh oh. Alright, guys. So, we got iron. We're not primitive anymore. Look at us. So, let's do this. Let's grab some of that. And let's get an iron sword because I'm already getting scared down here. Alright, so, first thing we're going to do is. Get this diamond. All right, so that's good. This one's good. Voila. Let's get this redstone now that we can. Yes. We're gonna need a lot of redstone. 
guys, we got eight diamonds. This is an amazing find right now. I'm gonna take some of this little piece. I like the color blue, guys. That's my color. So let's uh let's let's start making this stuff. We're gonna need to make some pistons. And I believe it was like this. Just like that. Nice. So we're going to do eight, right? Let's do 10 because that way it'll leave eight on each side. I mean, sorry, it'll uh, leave a border on each side and eight in the middle. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So it looks like that's the end there. So that's, this is gonna be the wall. Just enough to push all the crops down into here. Let's do a water block every, we'll do two block here, three block gap, and then, no, cause that won't add up. Let's do every two blocks then. Bam, bam. And this is where we'll add our water. On each side here. Add that there. And add that there. All right, we should have enough dirt. It's super dark out here, so let's go to bed real quick. All right, so let's add the dirt here. So there you have it. Pretty much repeat this process all the way up. And you should have it just fine. All right. And there we have it. And it should be too high. Bam. Add the border all around. Uh-oh, guys, we are almost out of cobblestone here. I can't believe I don't have more cobblestone than that after all the digging that I did. Hopefully that's enough. I think we'll do a three-level farm. I think I'm going to go ahead and just add these glass panes. All right, so we added the third level, guys. And I think I'm going to just do three for now. I think this will be enough wheat for one person. I don't want to lag this server more than I have to, you know? Uh, let's finish up the glass panes here. I think that's it for now. I forgot to make the ladders. Oh, why do I do this to myself? Yeah, I think three... A three-tier farm will be fine. I don't think I'll need more than that. I don't want to make something ginormous and not use it, you know what I mean? It's all about conserving, guys. Conserving. And it should be pretty much done with the water here. Well, for the crops, at least. Let's add that there. Add that there. Forgot we had to do this one. My mistake, guys. Oh man, we do have to add another level, guys. So, a quick change of plans. I wasn't thinking. My fault. We gotta add the pistons up here. Let the water fall. Okay. Pretty much got it. I just need to uh, cover this up. Which I don't think I have enough cobblestone to do, guys. So the pistons will be here. Let's get rid of that. And I completely forgot that we need this going all the way up. Alright, guys. So we got this, we got that. 
we got all of our plates in. Now all we need is to place these pistons where they need to go. There we go. And now we just need some redstone. forgot to add the cobblestone up top. So it looks like that works. Alright guys, so we got the glass, we got the, got that, we need a switch, that's what we need, don't get me wrong, I love punching my, my farm, it just looks cool when all that wheat comes out, but I just feel like, it would be a lot more time consuming doing that, alright. So you guys can see, I did a little redstone torch tower that leads up to the pistons. At the bottom here, you do one against this block here, and then some, run some redstone from that block. All the way down to wherever you want your switch. I'll actually place my switch there. That way we can hide this redstone. For the most part. Right. So now we got the water running from there all the way down. So then when all the water runs down, it pushes this over here. Oops. Actually, like that. It'll push it down into the hopper there and then into here perfect oh, quick rundown here we go I've got a three-story automatic wheat farm it could be a potato farm it could be a carrot farm whatever you want it as long as it could be harvested just like wheat so there's the collection point down here hopper basic little chest right now just because the farm's not that big so I don't expect that to get too full first level make sure you have some pressure plates down so the water doesn't seep out to the sides water drops there water drops from that other side I didn't have enough seats to cover everything so we're kind of forced with this but that's alright and these are the pistons here that hold all the water up top and I'll show you that here soon I have a four torches on the inside here and uh, I never built a roof access so give me a second here So there we go. This should work just fine. And basic pistons, little aqua reservoir here, water reservoir, whatever you want to call it. Basic, basic ceiling. I was going to add glass here to let some sunlight in. It probably would have looked great with the shaders, but I ran out of glass. So we worked with what we had redstone uh, torch tower here so it sends a signal all the way down I ran some redstone oh I never did this I messed up guys give me a second there we go all done runs up here to this switch you hit the switch when it's ready all the water runs down and I will show you that when these are ready to be harvested all right guys so our wheat has pretty much grown. It's 
pretty much done. There's little patches here and there that aren't done, but I want to show you guys how it works, how it looks. I ran out of seats here. Don't worry about that. <laughs> so let's go down. We will hit the switch. The water will come down. Just like that. Bam. And there it goes. All of those goodies. We go down here. And in the hopper, you'll see. Oh, there's a dirt block in there. And there you go. It's amazing. So then all you do is you come over here, grab all of your seeds, and you replant everything. And it's ready to go. But yeah, guys. Hope y'all enjoyed. If you're new here, make sure to hit that subscribe button. Let me know in the comments what you would have done differently. Or if this build interests you. But thanks for watching, guys. And I'll see you on the next one. Peace out.